There we go. Now I know it's going. Right. First things first. <clears throat> no introduction. It's going to be right here, right now. I sent a letter in the mail to the Supreme Court demanding one of two things. The first being the unrealistic thing, even in this time where radical change is necessary in order to stave off the inevitable, in order to ease the impact of the inevitable. That was turn over your government to my direct and absolute control. That was the first thing I ordered. The second thing was give me control of the entire video game industry. All phases of production, lateral, vertical, and horizontal, whatever you want to call it. I don't fucking care. Complete fucking monopoly. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I'm fucking monopoly, all phases of control, blah, blah, blah. Reason being is, you know, fuck you. I'll explain later when I fucking so see fit to do so. Now, I've waited for a little while, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inform the Supreme Court, hey, this is a follow-up to what I sent you in the mail. You can either make a choice by this date, or I will make the choice for you. Either way, in the current climate, in the current situation with the pandemic and the lockdowns, making a choice is difficult. Yeah, I fucking know. No fucking shit. You don't have to explain that to me. But me making the choice for you? That's going to be worse. I'm not Edward Snowden. I'm not going to run and hide. I told you examples of how your legality is corrupt, tyrannical, and in violation and in default of the founding principles outlined in the Declaration of Independence. You're in default of that sacred document, that doctrine of what is supposed to be the guiding principles for every law in existence. Yet every law in existence routinely violates the aforementioned unalienable rights in the Declaration of Independence. I'm not going to waste my time to explain how the Constitution is by extension of, you know, some chain of logic, either directly or indirectly, the rest of the unalienable rights. No. Fuck you. I don't have time for that. America doesn't have time for that. The world does not have time for that. Assholes in charge. Supreme Court. Pick a fucking option. Or I will choose for you. Do you understand? You, America. You, the federal government of America. You have been in default of the United States Declaration of Independence since its inception. Do you fucking understand? It's time for me, the citizen, to take up my responsibility as outlined by the Declaration of Independence and rise up against your tyranny. And I am doing so. I sent you a fucking letter. It's seven pages. Let me summarize it for you. There's a law in Alabama that states you cannot engage in any sexual position outside of missionary. This is a direct and blatant violation of a married couple or any other couple, man and man, woman and woman, man and woman, doesn't fucking matter. It's their fucking unalienable right to pursue their happiness however the fuck they want. Whether this law is enforced or not is irrelevant. The fact is... And the truth that it exists is blatant violation of the, <clears throat> the Declaration of Independence and the unalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All three of them. Because they are chain-linked. 
Do you understand what that means? To violate one at the end of the chain goes all the way back to the very beginning of the chain. That's what a chain link law system is. And that's also why your corrupt system in charge fucks people over with multiple counts of assault just for shaking a police officer's hand. And yes, I have seen that happen. But that, in itself, even though it's an example of how corrupt and tyrannical your system is, it is irrelevant to what I am proposing to you, this option. To pick one of the options I have presented to you, or I will choose for you. Do you understand? I will not repeat myself. But the American populace will lead a bloody fucking civil war against you. You know that's coming. I know that's coming. That is inevitable. But if you comply with the directives I have given you, you can soften the blow. And you can gain the empathy, sympathy, and mercy of the populace you have been shitting and pissing on for hundreds of years. Do you understand, American federal government? Do you truly understand the gravity and severity of the situation you are currently in? I will not explain again. You will comply with the directives I have given you. And I, I am not going to make you pay the consequences. I don't have to. I do, however, have to get a bowl of ice cream and watch as the American populace you have shit and pissed on and violated the constitutional, civil, and inalienable rights of over the past 200 to 300 years rise up against your sorry fucking asses and wipe you out because they outnumber you millions to one. I will not continue to explain myself. You will comply 